Hello, let's fly Isle 2 Stormvic Cliffs of Dover. It's getting, I keep on putting this one down and coming back to it. Uh, honestly, the game gets frustrating. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's put uh, fuel on. Fuel on, I said. The camera keeps on jittering around. It's going to be difficult to click on the correct thing. All right. Start the engine. Yay, there's the engine started. Okay, so, what's the deal here? Um, yeah, here we are on the exterior. I had to turn the shadows off for, for this mission. Uh, we've got a lot more uh, airplanes than we had previously. Sit there and warm my engine up for a little while. Okay, so we are at uh, Kenley on this map, which is kind of like a south of London. And there's uh, reports of there's a raid, there's a bunch of bombers, and there's fighters escorting bombers uh, all over here towards the east. Um, around there on this whole little peninsula and land out there. I'm going to go out there and we're going to go and defend our country from those bombers and the, the fighters escorting the bombers. Okay, I'm supposed to be the number two guy. There's the first guy's way up there ahead of me. I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead. Oops, I almost killed the engine there. I'm just going to taxi up. Come on, guys. Come on. There we go. I'm going to break the rules, and I'm not going to follow the taxi course all the way around the edge of the um, at the edge of the field here. I'm just gonna taxi straight to it, cutting kind of cutting cutting cross country across the um, across the airport airfield aerodrome, whatever they call it. Otherwise, this will take forever. <laughs> yeah, I keep on putting this game down and then coming back to it, but I come back to it and I play it a little while, then I put it down and I go away. It's uh, There are many, many fun things about it, but it, it does get frustrating working with the bugs, working with the all the stuff that I wish was working the way I wanted it to, you know? will continue, continue to have faith that the, the game does steadily get better. Even, even after all the, the kind of the shocking state that it was released in. Ooh, I'm like missing a whole bunch of the end of this runway here, aren't I? Airplane ain't wouldn't uh, taxi straight either. Okay, a prop to full. Mixture is set. Is that canopy? Set my elevator trim. Let's go. Radiator is all the way open. Raise that tail. Pick up some airspeed. And let's get flying. We are airborne. I like watching the gear retract. Zoom zoom! Isn't that a cool looking airplane? I think it's a cool looking airplane. Okay, and we're airborne. Just get my engine controls, get my prop set down there. Let's try and keep the RPM, say, around like 2700 most of the time. Close it radiator a couple notches. Fix my trim. Okay, well, let's see what else do I need to do. I need to set my gun sight up. To my convergence is 200 yards. Uh, we'll leave. We'll leave my wingspan diff distance right there, 32 feet. I'll probably be shooting at some fighters. Let's turn. Turn that thing on. There we go. I think the reflector gun sight. This is just really nifty little piece of technology here to put this this um, light here reflects on this this piece of glass just about 45 degree angle to um, to project at uh, infinite distance in front of you the uh, 
it's it's like almost almost uh, in effect like a holographic almost like a holographic gun sight just just projects in front of you all the time it's transparent you can see through it it's re really cool technology it's simple it works well Ah, okay, here, here we have a... What? Oh, some, okay, some... Server's telling me somewhere another Spitfire got shot down. We've got a second group of Spitfires. Yeah, the mission briefing... I'm, I'm not able to record that, the, the, the software. I've tried Fraps, I've tried Bandicam, I've tried the MSI Afterburner. None of them will record the actual mission briefing that I, that I see in this game. That's why I have to do that kind of brief recap, but yeah, we're supposed to be our group of Spitfires. We're going to uh, go hook up with uh, another group. We're going to go hunt some Germans. It'll be fun. If I can catch up with my lead, come on. There's the number three guy, finally getting around and taking off. Yeah, starting to catch up to him. Some, don't want to overshoot. Let's see if I can actually do this formation flight thing. Always have real problems at just keeping the same speed whenever I'm trying to do this. End up oscillating. I mean, you're too fast or too slow. Formation flight, dangerous. <laughs> Especially with me around, flailing wildly around. These, all these AI pilots just go park just right in their spot. Got any problems? And there's our second flight of three. We're going to form up over to our right. Losing my lead in the sun. This is wonderful. I like the sun glare effect they've put in the game. That's it's it strikes me as being uh, fairly realistic in a lot of ways. You know, uh, simulating. You know, if you look in the sun, it's, it's hard to see other stuff. Try and block it behind stuff. Engine temperatures. Yeah, everything's still good. Probably even close that radiator just a little bit. I've read a couple of reports of some people have done some testing with the game and they think that the actual radiator settings don't have any measurable effect on your speed. Because uh, that's the only reason that you wouldn't ever have your, your radiator just, you know, wide open all the time is because of the drag. It, it slows you down. But you know, they're saying that they've tested it and, it and they don't think it actually does slow you down any. I'm not certain if that is true or not. Oh, 
Okay, catching up. Let's try not to overshoot. I like the exterior view. Even though it's harder to see where I my exact relative position exterior view though. Sounds cool. I like what they're doing with the sounds. They're still working on the sounds, they're still making them better. So that's all good. Yeah, I can see the ocean out there. See the channel, I guess I should say. So we should be encountering some bad guys sometime soon here, right? Right? That's a theory, anyways. Even though I do play a lot of these missions before I record them, it, it doesn't happen the same exactly the same way every time. That the AI, I mean, there's a certain degree of randomness that happens, uh, not only in the AI but also in the where the clouds are. Uh, oops, hang on. Okay, we're maneuvering. Try not to have any collisions here. That would be sad. No collisions. Whoa, I can't see him. Where is he? But anyway, yeah, yeah, even though I have played through this mission a couple times as I was preparing to do the Let's Plays, as I was playing, uh, preparing to record, uh, I'm still not exactly certain when and where we may encounter bad guys because they don't always follow exactly the same path especially with the, the way this mission is set up there's a whole lot that's going on uh, there's bombers here there's other uh, the other group of spitfire we saw flying by earlier they might get in there and, the, and the, the, they'll, they'll might encounter them first it's i'm really not i don't know what exactly is going to happen Except I know that I really, really suck at this whole formation flight thing, and I spend a, like almost all my time uh, trying to catch up from, you know, falling way behind. I, I knew that was going to happen. I, that 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 happens pretty much reliably all the time, you know. Everything else is kind of up in the air. I wish I could have the shadows on. The shadows, that's like some of the best part in the, the graphics in this game. But it just looks so cool. I wish, what I really wish, is there was an option to have, say, to keep the shadows on inside the cockpit, but, but turn off the shadows for everything outside. So I bet you my, my computer could keep up with that. It, it doesn't. It's you know, all shadows or no shadows. And I tried playing this game with the shadows turned on, and... Uh, no, no, we're, it, was, it turned into a slideshow. It's just got too many airplanes loaded. Some, some had, something had to be turned down. Right here, we're starting to get a little bit laggy. Not bad, though. Okay, here I am actually getting close to flying my slot. I was close to flying my slot there. For just a second, and then start pulling away from me again. Somebody sees some Dornier's, he's telling me. Okay. Can we move in? Mm. 
Well, I sort of had formation for a second there. <laughs> like less than a minute. Getting nervous, get so focused on following the lead. I wonder if anybody's sneaking up behind me. Okay, somebody sees approximately 12 Messerschmitts, meaning BF-109s. At the time, they would have called them ME-109s, because they got that part wrong. 